Hey guys, it's me Evelyn here on the Renek Exclusive and today I have a new uh, Sony Vegas Pro tutorial for you guys. Today is about this quick transition effect you see in front of you, um, playing right here on the screen. It's very simple and easy and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, so let's get started. So as you can see here in my Sony Vegas we have a simple, well the finished product here, and I have the markers here to show you how long it is. It's barely like 1.15 seconds long to be honest, so it's not that long, so it's a quick transition, you can use it for a... Uh, picture fan vids is what I would assume it's used for so we have our photo here and then we have solid color so we're going to drag one photo down and meet it to the top here's the bottom right click and just trim it and we're we'll the same for the second one here and then our black one as well trim it so as you see here, you can't really see nothing because our black one. So we're going to go ahead and just bring our grid up first. And we're going to go into the pen crop. You want to make sure you're on the mask. Make sure that you're on your mask and you have the rectangular, rectangle or square mask tool selected. And you want to just go and select a piece of your mask. It doesn't have to be too thick, just enough. And as you see, it's almost in the center, but not quite. While this is selected, you want to just use your arrow keys to make it so that it's in the center. And if it's not, you can just go ahead and just like drag one out a little bit just to make it more uniform and then you X out and that one is done now we need to mix each picture to their assigned sections one's going to be on the left one's going to be on the right I have presets done already and I'm going to show you them and you guys can go ahead and copy them and I'll have um, them in the in a still form when I get to it so first one we want to go ahead and drag in our fade offset well let's just do the uh, cookie cutter first so we're going to go to video effects cookie cutter here and our top one's going to be uh, assigned to the left. So I have my left here already. I'm just going to click and drag it onto the image here. This is the preset for the left side cookie cutter um, if that you see in front of you. You can go ahead and pause the video and um, follow it. It's very simple, but we have this done now. And then we're going to go and drag in our right one. So I'm going to drag our right one into that one as well. And I'm going to go ahead and pause so you guys can see the um, preset as well. And if you want, want if you guys want to save the preset, you're just going to go into the preset here, name it whatever you want, and click the save button here, and you can have it forever saved inside your Sony Vegas. A little tip for you guys. So now we have it done. We want to make sure that our images are aligned to a certain area. As you can see, that they are cropped to those areas, but they aren't in them. So we're going to go here into the pan crop. We're doing left first. We're going to right click on our image and match output aspect like so. So it matches our video output aspect. And then we're going to want to go ahead and move it so that we can see the image. You can hold shift down and use your arrow key to move it faster, like so. And I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And then we're going to do our right one. We want to right click match output aspect first. I have them set there in. Now as you see, like they don't match up perfectly. You give them a bit off in there and the side is so send me so we want to go ahead and stretch it out a little bit to make it fit more into the video and then we'll just move it a little bit more like so and I'm going to resize the other image as well so it's just going to pack crop and just stretch it out like so and now if it's a little bit more I'm just going to shift it over like so so now we have that done it's going to just be stationary at the moment until we get our transitions in. So you see we have our transitions here here, and then these three here. So these three in the back are going to be transitioned into 8 seconds. The fade out offset. I'm just going to drag in the other ones like that. So like that also. And then this one here, we're going to drag in the fade offset to 10. And then we're going to drag this one to the ending of that one. And then fade offset to 10 so it gives it one pushes in then the other one pushes in and then they all um, push off at the same time so as you see we used one plugin that is not Sony Vegas it doesn't come with Sony Vegas it's actually called new blue and B spin you're gonna have to have new blue effects to use it I do I do not have another way of doing it without new blue effects but when I do find a way I will let you guys know and do a tutorial on that as well so we're going to click transitions and we want to go ahead and go into the new blue MB spin 
and I have mine preset already. It's called back percent, 100 percent, and I'm gonna show you guys why I called it that. So you're gonna click and drag it in, and as you can see, these are my settings, and of course, there'll be a pause still right here for you guys to see it. But I basically have spin at 100, crossfade at 100, and at center, and the background is at blend. And I just named it back percent and pressed the save button to save my preset. It's just a simple preset. It's not the nothing too awesome. And I would just exit out, and I'll use the same one for the other one as well. Then on our out offset fade out offset, we're just gonna use a simple Sony Vegas push effect. So our the top one we want to push down. So we're gonna drag the push down here. Then in the middle one we want to push up, and then the last one push down. I'm gonna take off the grid. And if you want to see how it plays before you save it, you want to have your um, loop on. So you can press here and have it looped. And you're just going to click and drag over to select your area. I have my preview at draft full because sometimes if you have it on a higher preview and if you try to pre render view it, it won't render the whole clip. You want to press Shift B on your keyboard to pre render. As you can see, it's going in and it's using it play. And now it's all highlighted. You can just press play on your keyboard, and then you can see how it plays. And it plays pretty good. And you're done. So, once again, thank you for watching my tutorial. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And hope to have more for you guys next time. Bye, guys.